Events featuring military-style obstacles have exploded in popularity in the D.C. region and, in fact, the whole country. But some wonder if they've grown too fast, especially after a local man died this year competing in a race put on by Tough Mudder, which has more participants than any other company doing these events. Tom Rousey has the story. <laughs> On a chilly October morning in West Virginia, thousands came out for what is not your traditional 10 miler. They'll crawl over hills of mud, plunge into a tank of water filled with ice, and they'll even run through wires giving an electric shock. To some, it sounds like torture. To others, fun. You come out the other end and you get that exhilaration. Tough Mudder only started three years ago. That year, 2010, they had three events. This year, they're having 53 in five countries. But some question whether safety has kept up with the growth, especially after what happened here in April. Dude, get your mask on, go! This video was turned over to law enforcement moments before 28-year-old Avi Sengupta of Ellicott City had come to an obstacle called Walk the Plank. He jumped in, but for reasons still unknown, Avi! he didn't come back up, despite frantic calls. Go, 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 go! A diver takes well over two minutes to put on equipment and go under. Some tired of waiting jump in to help, and he yells at them. By the time Sengupta is found, it's too late. Nobody helped him when he needed it. Best friend Dan Gemp and his mom, Rosemary, knew Sengupta since age five. They say he trained hard. He knew this wasn't a walk in the park. Watching the videos hard. You know, you carry a guy's casket out of a room full of 700 people, just seeing sad looks all around. That is the saddest thing you can imagine. Seeing that video is the most infuriating thing you can imagine. In October's race, there were changes. Multiple divers appeared ready, and there were four lifeguards. Also, organizers slowed down the rate people could jump in. We worked through with our safety protocols. We're very confident with what we had in place, and we're always improving. Although injuries are not unusual, a Tough Mudder official says the vast majority of the one million plus people who've participated have done so safely, and Sengupta has been the only death. However, there's no governing body overseeing safety, and the GEMPs say people should know what they're getting into. There is an inherent danger in the obstacles themselves that they have no control over. A lawyer representing Sengupta's family says they are contemplating a lawsuit. Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News.